Hello everyone, my name is Master Steve and welcome back to some more Star Wars Galactic Battlegrounds. In this episode we'll be doing the fourth mission of the Um 9 campaign, Capturing the Crown. Let's go ahead and hop right into it and I'll let the opening cutscene play out as usual. Transmission O455 HB, location Naboo, encoded to Darth Sidious. Viceroy Newt Gunray, transmitting. We have arrived at the gates of Theed, my lord. We are soon to be the victors. All right, well, that was super short. Let's see what we got here. So we have occupied the countryside surrounding Theed and the city awaits our armies, but a signal jammer prevents our droid starfighters and transports from approaching. You'll enter Theed with a battalion of elite units and destroy the signal jammer, and then you'll build a monument so that Viceroy can land. Queen Amidala has advised her military to stand down, but we expect scattered resistance throughout the city. All right, doesn't seem too bad. The time has come to take the city of Theed. Target only offensive units. Um 9, your first objective is to take out the system jamming device so that we can land reinforcements within the city. Okay, so target offensive units only. We got two heavy pummels. It should come in handy, so let's go ahead and just kind of keep our forces together and we'll figure out where we're going here. So we need to take out the jamming device so that we'll be in focus. Let's all start shooting this way first and then we'll figure out what we're going to do here. So the gate is open and let's go ahead and come on in here. The Trade Federation Army has entered the city! And I'm going to back up just a second just because... I do see we have some friends over here. So let's take out him real quick. Okay, bridge is down so we can't go across there. So we're going to work our way up through the city. Now we do have a strike mech over here. We do have a ton of mech destroyers. So that is not going to last very long. So, so far, good start. I feel like as long as we are like... You know, focusing fire and going one target at a time, this should go pretty easily. So, let's just kind of continue our slow and steady march here. Okay, we do have a fortress. That is going to complicate some stuff. So, let's get our pummels. Alright, back up, back up, back up. Last thing I want is to... Okay, you know what? This is not exactly going the way I had hoped. I do have more troopers back there. Okay, so this got kind of an ugly start, to be honest. Not pleased with this. So we do have one random turret over there, which is kind of weird. And I do know... I saw, I saw those troopers for the Royal Naboo up here. So I am going to actually put these guys in the control group really quick. Now let's get these pummels on that fortress up there. And now these guys will finally engage us. We can kind of do with them promptly. Excellent work. And now we have a fortress targeting those pummels. So now that's going to buy us some time. I'm going to put these guys on no attack for the moment because, I mean, the intro to this did say only attack um, offensive units. I don't know if we'll get penalized for like buildings or anything like that. So I'm gonna hold off and these pummels do have pretty good armor and they are heavy pummels so they should be able to leap that fortress relatively quickly. And I mean I guess we're gonna keep working our way up north. I'm not exactly sure why this Theed Arch I guess that's, that's our final goal, so I guess our first goal is gonna be working our way up here. This one's kind of interesting. I don't remember ever doing this one when I was growing up, so it's kind of a new experience for me. I don't know if I actually made it this far. So let's go ahead and burn that down, and then go ahead and move these guys up preemptively. And yeah, that should be down any moment now. Doesn't have too much health left, that's not a thousand now. And that pummel means barely lost a quarter of its health. Okay, and now we're getting some resistance. So we do have some strike mechs coming in. Let's go ahead and back them up, and now we do have plenty of mech destroyers, so let's just delete that, and then delete that one, and we are back to looking very good. So we can go ahead and move these pummels back up, 
And as long as I keep my units grouped up like this, we should be looking pretty good for right now. So let's go ahead and move our way along here. And it looks like resistance has kind of let up a little bit, so that is good. I am eager to see what these reinforcements are because I'm not really... We have a pretty good sized force here, but I just, I want a little more and I have no idea how many more troops we're going to be running into in the streets. So let's cross over here. Uh, right now I'm just kind of scouting out. Okay, so we do have some troopers up here. We should melt them relatively fast. That's strike Michael, let's take a chance. And let's go ahead and stick to... Yeah, okay, that's a dead end in there. And we should go down super quick. And so far, and... <laughs> another fortress. I swear, they just put these in here to slow you down. So now we got to use our pummels on that and hopefully get rid of that relatively quickly. That should be the only thing that really stands in our way between us and that signal jammer. I mean, I really do hope whatever reinforcements we get for this are good, because, man, this is a pain so far. I mean, not really, it's not a bad campaign mission by any means, but I just, I don't know, I like the ones with the build, like, a base up, and actually, have to, you know, a little more to it, kind of, kind of have more control over, like, you know, what units you train and stuff, and not just have to wander the streets and do stuff like this, but still having a lot of fun with this one. Alright, so... I want to make sure my units are not like in range of the fortress, but I do want to make sure we're close enough in case any mechs come out or anything like that, just so that we're safe. And they are targeting my weakest pummel, which is kind of annoying. Hopefully it will not die. And we do have someone over here trying to support them. We do have another fortress down there. Hopefully we won't lose troops to that. I'm just going to keep defending our prime before we deal with that. And I'm not going to lie, I think because it's targeting the pummels, we can kind of just walk on by. Yeah, we can. So let's <laughs> kind of take that for the blessing that it is. That pummel, I think, is going to live. And yeah, we're just going to kind of pass on by. Nothing to see here. And that fortress will go down pretty quick. And let's go ahead and get that strike mic out of the way. And we're looking good. I am curious. I don't know if we lost anything back there just because I didn't see that fortress. So maybe something wandered down there and got killed. I'm not sure. But we are now to the signal jammer at least, which is a good sign. And once we get that down, we can call in reinforcements and keep proceeding on with the next phase of this siege. And I don't know why these pummels just randomly stop sometimes. I think it's just because of the age of the game and, you know, kind of how. I don't know, shall we say weird the path thing can be in this. But Trade Federation should be arriving once we get that jammer down. I don't want to lose any troops of that medium turret. So let's kind of ease these pummels up in here. And they'll deal with that relatively quickly. And we do have more mechs back here. So let's go ahead and kill those. And I mean, those are going to be kind of annoying to deal with. But luckily we do have a large amount of mech destroyers. I believe Oom9 himself is a mech destroyer unit, and I literally lost a mech destroyer for no apparent reason there, that was a bad play. And I mean, if I put them on stand ground, they're going to attack. They won't attack um, the feed civilian stuff, which is good, I appreciate that. And we need to get that strat mech taken out, because that is not going to do us any good. So let's come up here and destroy that. And hopefully there's not too much else to do after this one. I uh, really don't like what, if it's going to drag on. And I, get, I don't know why they're running to stop. And we can shoot the jammer from back here. Oh, yeah, let's focus fire, guys, and see if we can delete that real quick. And that turret will go down any moment now. And now get that jammer. And yeah, no strike map. They just keep sending one at a time, which is so annoying. Let's blast that really quick. Super easy. And that should go down. Oh, no, 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 no. The jammer is destroyed. Our final destination is Amidala's palace. 
Merely get at least five troops within the palace grounds. After you have done so, build a monument. Reinforcements have the way. Five troops in the palace grounds and build a monument. That is. That just sounds time consuming. We are getting reinforcements. I am happy about that. And why did they land? Okay, the we did get some all the way down the there. Bridge. Which is not exactly what I would call helpful. So I need to link them up somehow. So now we're definitely... Okay, this is going to be weird because now we are going to be broken into two separate groups. Okay, so we have to bring five units with the power stones. Okay, this is interesting. Where am I going to get the resources to build a monument? Because a monument is a lot of resources. I'm zero for everything right now. And these pummels will... Apparently waste a bunch of time with how bad their pathing is. Come on. Oh my gosh. This why can you not walk down here? There we go. Gosh, it's so annoying. Alright, so let's keep wandering on down here. Just keep dealing with these strike mechs as they show up. And honestly feel like I should deal with that mech factory, so maybe they'll stop. Producing them right in my face. But I don't even know if that's really necessary or not. So now I'm kind of thinking we're gonna leave that little task force of units up there. And let's start working with these guys down here. I'll give them their own control group. And let's figure out what we can do on this side. So, they're pretty safe over here. I just want to see if we can... Dude, these pummels really have bad pathing. Wow. That is horrible. Okay, we do have a fortress, which does kind of complicate things. But luckily we're making good progress in the south, which I like to see that. And I'm pretty sure we can just walk up to um, the palace itself. But I want to make sure all of my forces are grouped up first. So let's go ahead and go for that turret down there with all these pummels. And now that these guys have finally made their way over, we'll have them go for that mech factory to clear out that fortress. And then we'll figure out where we're going from there. Now... I don't know if this connects over here or not. Hopefully it does. If it doesn't, that is going to kind of complicate some things. So we will figure that out. And don't want to do that. And again, there's more strike max coming in every once in a while. So now we have to be super strategic here. So let's go ahead and keep scouting with these. And I will slowly move my villagers up. I just don't want them to accidentally get killed. So let's go ahead and regroup them. I'm going to send this pummel to the fortress first because... Well, I've got two fortresses to deal with, so let's get this one targeted. Again, why are you walking that way? Gosh, these pummels have the worst pattern. Alright, so let's get them going up there. And let's get that burned down relatively quickly. And then, I mean, they might have one or two more stations from here and there. I really don't know. I mean, I'm kind of curious. Maybe we have to take, like, the, mid the central archway all the way up and we'll meet our troops up in the middle. Maybe that's how it's going to work? I really don't know. But three heavy pummels down here is going to make super quick work of that fortress, which will at least save us some time. Over here, this one's just dumb, as usual. Dude, this is frustrating. Alright, so they're going to get rid of that, hopefully without dying. I mean, he's still targeting one with a higher health, so they should be able to deal with that just fine. And I mean, there could be one or two more between here and there. I really don't know. Hopefully not. And there is the bridge across. 
So that actually went relatively smoothly down here. Up here, honestly, not going as good as it could be, but that is okay, I guess. And yeah, let's go ahead and cross the bridge with them. And then we'll figure out what else we need to do. I will go ahead the and Trade Federation Army is probably go ahead and get that bridge. turret taken out. So we got to the West Bridge. Now, I'm not going to scout with those pummels because they are super low health. I think they've dealt with about three or four fortresses now. Okay, so they do have some more strike max moving up, which is kind of concerning, but okay. And now... Okay, they do have a gate up there, so there's probably going to be another fortress between here and there. And, I mean, unless there's something between here, we should be A-OK. -okay. And I don't know if I will take out that turret after all. So let's go ahead and move these guys up, and I'm going to send these guys down to deal with that. And we are to the archway, and now our forces can link up. Excellent. Okay, so I feel like we're pretty much... I don't know. We have to be past the halfway point at this point. So that should get taken out pretty quickly. You'd hope, at least. Oh my gosh, can you guys attack it? Or are you to stand there? Apparently stand there. And that one can't figure out its pathing, so that's lovely. But yeah, we are at least to the arch, which is good. And we have linked up, so... Sure, that's her before he gets a kill. There we go. Alright, so we still have, what, five pummels total, which is good. Alright, let's move up here and see what we got. So, now we have a pretty significant force. I mean, we're not going to get any more reinforcements, so this is what we got to work with. And let's see what else we can do up here. It's just so annoying how they send one strike mech at a time. And I'm going to move these forces to the side. I'm going to just send all of my tunnels up to do. You guys have got to get your bath and figure out. This is ridiculous. I really don't even feel like, like any of the other Civs pummels have this issue. Like I feel like when I'm playing like the Empire and stuff, everything goes so smoothly. But for some reason, the Trade Federation pummels just cannot figure themselves out. It's so annoying. Let's get Umi moved up as well. Whoop, that strike miss, please. Lost one battle droid, but that is okay, I guess. And we're just going to have to really focus fire up here, because they are sending a lot. Alright, so this gate should hopefully go down no issues for us. And this panel is back here contemplating its life. I don't understand why you would go around the left side of that when you're already on the right. But whatever. And we're not down. You know what I mean? I feel like, yeah, I want that mech back right now. I'm tired of all the other strike mechs coming in. Like, speaking of, there's another one. And so let's keep working our way up here. Got that one. And then we got, got another one around the gauntlet. There we go. Keep moving up. I will go ahead and bring the villagers up because I feel like the path is pretty clear and I don't have to worry about anything coming up from behind, so that's good. And you know that up here by the palace I looked earlier, we do have two feed turrets, which is going to be something that our pummels will need to deal with because those do a lot of damage. And next archway, and we should almost be there. I mean, I just I just have a feeling they're going to stick at least one more fortress between here and there. It just seems like something they would do. And villagers are looking good. It's just kind of a slow crawl up, but honestly kind of fun. I really don't see a need for him to be riding along in this mech destroyer, but okay. And let's all target this gate really quick, and once we're through there, I just wonder, I'm like, is there going to be one more fortress? Maybe not, but... No, this is just... <laughs> The pathing of these units is the only thing making this difficult. It's actually been a relatively easy mission for the most part. Alright, let's see if we can get these guys to actually go up 
There we go. Get up there and attack the gates so we can not spend an hour on them. Come on. Just go. There we go. Awesome. And that destroyer is coming in super handy there. Love these things. And again, I don't know where we're going to get our resources to build this monument with, but I guess we'll figure that out. I mean, we're still at zero. Hopefully they give us some as soon as we get up here. We're going to have way more than five units when we reach the palace, which is good. And now we are pretty much there. Just need to make sure we deal with these Thede turrets. And it looks like we do have quite a few Thede military... There it is. Two fortresses. Wow, so we have two fortresses and a bunch of turrets up there. Alright, so let's just take all of our pummels and let's see if we can make quick work of this. So at least this time, they all stuck together except for one, which, you know, if we're going for overall completion, I guess one being left behind isn't bad. And this is going to be kind of difficult, honestly. I'm, I know I'm going to lose at least one, but I mean, as long as you're kind of separated out, like, I mean, I literally don't understand why it's going to the troop center. It makes absolutely no sense. Why do you think, dude, you guys need to actually attack? Ah, uh, this has been a frustrating thing for me, and difficult at all, but man, so frustrating. Okay, so let's get that. And then let's go ahead and just start targeting these troops in here. And this is actually looking pretty good. We might lose one pummel, like I said. Again, he's targeting the troops in here, but we already lost a pummel, but that's okay, I guess. Again, don't know why they were targeting the troops in here. Just kind of waste of time. Let's kill that. And one, that one on the left should be done any moment now. Okay, the troops got the troops center down, and that fortress is done, so go ahead and get this one done. When the pummels actually have to like, actually like do their job, they're super effective, but man, they have path and figured out the biggest pain ever. And that one should be down any moment now. So a four up, which actually is really, really good. Yeah, this is good. Alright, so we have only one on it. Only one is weak, but honestly that's fine. And yeah, we do have these turrets up here. Guys, just attack it. You're right next to it. Look at this. Like, they have to recontemplate life every single time. And why are these ones just standing around doing nothing? Like, just attack it. I... Okay. I'm getting frustrated, but it's okay. Burn that down. You guys go for that one. You guys go for that one. Everyone else march in. We should be good to go. There we go, come on. Turrets will go down. And then let's go. The battle droid army has reached the palace. Reinforcements have arrived. Well, they gave us some. Build a gave us some droid fighters, which is okay, I guess. But. I don't know what I'm going to do with air do units at this point, on building but we at least got a throne. ton of resources, and what, so let me move these out of the way really quick, where do I put this wonder, I assume right here between the flags, right? Right there. Okay. Man, the placement on that is actually kind of tricky. Alright, so we got plenty of villagers on that. And this is just tedious at this point. Build a monument within the markers, which we are doing. And I mean, could you guys make it go faster, please? Because this is not something I want to just wait on the whole time. We'll do a little scouting with these vulture droids, just because, I don't know, I haven't really explored Thieves that much, we'll see what else they got. I mean, do they truly make the entire city out of here, or? Uh, it's kind of fun to look around, is there anything else that, like, secret on this map? 
plenty of good resources over there. Let's go scout over here. And literally, I always just sit around and wait for this monument to be built. So we're at 6%, which is so wonderful. And this is really not going to be that exciting of a video now that I think about it. This is kind of a boring campaign. But it's at least going to be done after this, hopefully, so that's good. So let's go look over here a little bit and just see what else they got. It's kind of cool that they actually, I mean, they made a pretty good city in this. It's kind of interesting that the river, is, oh, this river starts up here and flows down here. Interesting. And what, is this all building stuff back here? No other like fortresses or anything? And yeah, feed military is still, they're still attacking us occasionally, but they don't really have a lot. And interesting, they put their, they put the housing space for the feed military over there in the corner interesting and I mean it would be kind of cool if they actually had some for like the guns or anything in here but I guess they don't and yeah super detail got some turrets over here yeah kind of interesting actually kind of nice to explore oh that ends that <laughs> don't want to lose all my troops to that fortress Scouting was fun while it lasted. We're gonna do a little more over here. I just didn't real. <laughs> okay, well, every time I turn around, there's another fortress that we didn't deal with, so we'll just come sit up here and contemplate life next to this monument. So we're at 20%, and there is absolutely nothing else to do except sit here and wait. This is such an exciting campaign. Honestly, really not a fan of this one. But, I don't know, relatively easy, but, I don't know, while we're sitting here with a moment to ourselves while the feed military attacks to absolutely no avail, I do want to say thank you guys for the support. We recently actually surpassed 800 subscribers on this channel, which is kind of big because I was sitting at like 745 when I started September, and now here at the end of September we've gone up almost 60-ish. Like, that's just really good, so I actually appreciate you guys for supporting the channel and I hope you guys will continue to do so and I mean just trying to really get better at making content and I feel like I feel like my stuff has definitely gotten better because I'm finally making stuff that I just truly enjoy and I've just I don't know I've been putting a lot more passion into my work lately so and it's just I don't know it's been easier to stay motivated because I've just gotten so much support so I just want to say thank you guys for I don't know support the channel and really just trying to you know there's been a lot of good comments and stuff lately it's just really been helpful and after that nice speech, we're only at 31%. And we're just going to keep on waiting. So for those of you who haven't like ever played this game, I would highly, highly recommend it. So it's built on the old Age of Empires engine, which is, I mean, it holds up super well to this day. The game itself is super, super fun. There's like, well, Sorry, make sure I'm not getting like overly attacked or anything. But the game holds up super, super well. Um, there's about 60-ish campaign missions, so I think after this one will be around a third of the way through. But like, it's just super, super fun. All the civilizations in this game feel like very unique. I mean, there's only eight of them, I believe, but like they all feel super, super different. They're all fun to use. And like, I mean, everyone has different units. Like, like, it's just very, very well done. And this is like classic, classic, you know, original, original Star Wars. I don't really ever enjoy like a lot of the newer stuff they put out. Like, I just don't follow it. Like, it's gotten to a point where it's such extended universe craziness to where it's just, it's hard to understand. It just doesn't have the same fun or feel as the original does. But this. All, all, all these campaign stuff pretty much follow the original story like yeah they go off onto some like you know extended universe stuff but it's stuff that's like you can actually like follow and they tie it in super super well and it's like you're never lost like it's very very well done and like the um 9 campaign like super well written all of like the voice acting for the cutscenes and stuff it all makes a lot of sense and it's just a really really fun game and like a lot of the other games that are out right now are just, I mean, they're not good. Like, Star Wars Outlaws was horrible. And, like, a lot of, like, we haven't had a good Star Wars game in forever. 
and this one holds up super super well and it's only like i think seven dollars on steam like it's super cheap it holds up super well and there's just hours and hours and hours of content you can get out of this and it's just it's a lot of fun like if you guys have never played this game it, this is worth your seven dollars i would highly recommend it and I mean, lately we've had like a lot of good remasters, like we've had like Django Fett Bounty Hunter, like that game was super fun to play, I really enjoyed that. But it's like, I mean, in terms of like, you know, classic Star Wars games that deserve a remake, this one, it like should be at the top of the list. This one is super, super fun. And I honestly don't understand why they don't remake it, because it's like, I mean, if you're a fan of Age of Empires, you can get into this game super easily and you'll love it. You'll have so much fun with it. Like, you'll have hours and hours of content to play through, and you'll see what a great game it is. And, like, Age of Empires still has a massive following, and, I mean, there's going to be another DLC for Age of Empires 2 pretty soon. I'm sure they'll announce it within the next few months or so. But, like, that game still has a thriving community and a huge competitive scene. And this game has a ton of potential. Like, if, you know, if a studio actually picked this up and actually wanted to, like, put some passion, some effort into it, they could turn this into something that's really, really good. Like, this is a fantastic game. And it's just, it really is worth your time. So if you guys actually enjoy like, you know, real time strategy games like Age of Empires, you really should pick this one up and give it a try because it will, it just holds up super well. It, it's not even like, I think it's like one gig on your computer. Like it's super small. It takes you like two seconds to download. And there's just every single mission is a joy to play. And that's kind of ironic to say that at this point because, I mean, we're literally sitting here watching a monument be built for like, I don't know, five minutes or so, just killing time. But all of them play super, super well and they're all just very well told stories. And they're just such an amazing game to play. So like I said, if you guys haven't played it, pick it up. Seven bucks doesn't take up any space and it's just, it's it's one you can, doesn't you don't even need like a Wi-Fi connection to play it. Like it's just a super fun old school game and I just really, really like it. And, I mean, now that we've cracked the two-thirds mark, I guess some other stuff that I'll say is um, definitely have a lot more content planned for this channel, and I'm trying to really step up my game. So, as weird as it sounds, we're going to start getting into some, I don't know, real-life content, per se. Um, I'm going to start, I don't know, I'm going to start cooking. I don't know if anyone's interested in cooking videos, but I actually do enjoy cooking, and stuff that I actually want to see if I can film some different kinds of videos. Um... I'm going to start posting a lot of my outdoor stuff. I do have a trip coming up in October. It's just a hiking trip, but I'm just going to try to do like a, I don't know, like a vlog of it essentially. And just, I don't know, try to make, post a lot more fun content. And just try to like get out of my shell a little bit. Because it's like, I feel like behind the microphone I'm a different person than I am like in real life per se. Like in real life, I am a much, much funnier person than I am when I'm talking and making a video and I've just been trying to figure out like how can I bring more of my personality and just myself into my videos and I feel like trying to you know expand out into some like real world stuff would probably help me a lot as a creator and make me just I don't know a just a, you know just better overall like I truly want to sh like I don't know just really improve myself so we're gonna try doing some of that so expect kind of some you know real life content shall we say coming Probably around mid-October is when I'll have it up and posted. I really want to see if I can sit down and do a lot of good editing with it. And like I said, just really try to step up my game as best I can. And so, now that we're through that, we're almost to... I mean, we're less than 500 hit points away on this monument, which is super, super good. Uh, the Royal Naboo have really stopped their attack on us. I mean, we have dealt with just a few strike mechs. And I mean, I guess if you only got five units here, you wouldn't really need to worry about stuff because they do give you these vulture droids, which, I mean, I guess they can deal with any mechs that come in and you just defend your villagers. But we have so many troops here that it's just, like I said, there's really nothing to play defense with. I guess something you could do in this mission is try to go through and destroy, like, literally all the fortresses they have set up, which, I mean, I don't even know if you could do that. I know with five pummels, it's possible. I don't know if there's like a, a achievement for that or anything, but it definitely seems like it's something that's super hard to do and I don't know, something that's not really worth it. But overall, this campaign, I'd give it like a, this mission in particular, I'd give like a five out of 10. It's not bad or anything, 
but just super, super tedious. Like, you're just waiting to destroy buildings. Now here at the end, you're waiting a long time to just, you know, put up a monument. Like, this one just takes forever. But still fun, good story. I mean, just definitely was an iconic part of the first movie where the Royal Naboo lost the, the Trade Federation. You know, that's where everything started to go down. So I, I see the importance of the mission, but I don't know. It's just, this one is just, it's still fun to play through, but definitely on the lower end of the spectrum when it comes to just, you know, fun missions in this game. So see, we got 3% here. Once that comes up, we should have the rest of of the story play out so we got one percent left and it should be up in five four three two one and you captured the capital city of Theed. we are most pleased with you victorious all right let's see what the ending cutscene is real quick Heed is ours, Lord Sidious. Well, that one was just kind of basic. I mean, we got the <laughs> opening cutscene was like five words. The ending cutscene was like five words. And the entire mission was essentially uh, destroy four fortresses, build a monument, and that was it. So, honestly, not too bad. Still fun. But like I said, kind of the least exciting one we've done so far. So next one will be the search for an underwater kingdom. Which should be fun. We got Darth Maul there on the icon for it. So we'll probably get to use an uh, actually fun hero for once. So if you guys want to see that, make sure you stay tuned for more. Make sure you like, subscribe for more content. And I'll see you guys in the next one.